Well guys, today is a day I have been waiting for for a very long time. We are finally gonna do the video on what my plans are for the Mini because then I can start modifying the car. As I said in my initial review, I am really, really happy with the car. It has been great, but there are still a few things that I want to do to it to make it my own, adjust some things more to my liking. We won't be doing many things. We'll be doing a few things more than we did to the E39, but really nothing anywhere close to the 350Z. As far as the exterior of the car is concerned, the only visible change is going to be adding the two rally hood stripes and putting on a set of 20 millimeter wheel spacers. Other than that, we won't be doing anything else. No splitters or wings or spoilers or diffusers or side skirts nothing like that that's not what this car is for for suspension we're going to leave everything on the suspension alone except for the rear sway bar we're going to be putting in an st suspension rear sway bar just to help the car rotate when we're on the track front wheel drive platforms are notorious for understeer anything we can do to fight that on the track and autocross events is going to be well worth it but that'll be it for suspension the mini springs and dampers are already very stiff they're already well tuned and while yes i could get more benefit out of a coilover it's going to be a slippery slope of changing out suspension arms and getting all of the suspension alignment back into shape so it's just not worth it for me especially in a car where its primary purpose is to be a daily driver under the hood really the only modification we're going to be making is to the expansion tank right back here we're going to be changing that for an aluminum unit just because those are known to crack but really the rest of it is going to stay stock we'll of course be doing some maintenance like spark plugs and oil changes and air filters and things like that but for now there's not much i'm planning on doing and one thing that's unrelated to the engine but it is under the hood is we're going to be reinforcing these strut towers so we've got some braces from ECS tuning we're going to be using they sandwich on top of the tower here to support this because these are notorious for mushrooming the passenger side is pretty bad the driver's side over here is not too bad so we will have to do a little bit of work to get that installed inside the car we'll be doing a couple things as well i want to add a four-point harness for track days and autocross events Schroth makes one that's easily removable with each event so we'll probably go with that one and i'm looking into doing a short shifter i have never had a manual transmission car where it was a performance model i wasn't going to put time and money into a short shifter for my truck so i'm really excited to feel the difference between a stock shifter and a short shifter one more interior upgrade i almost almost forgot about is we're going to be adding about 50 pounds of sound deadening to this car. If you've ever been in a Mini or read anything about them, you know they have squeaks and rattles and they're not exactly the quietest cars in the world. Especially coming from the E39, it is a huge difference to how refined the interior is. So because this is not a race car like the 350Z, this is mostly a car that is going to be driven on the street. Adding a little bit of weight to get a much more refined interior is definitely worth it. So we're going to be putting sound deadening in both doors. We're going to be putting it under the back seat, on the rear wheel, wells on the tailgate in the trunk up against the firewall we're going to do everything we possibly can to bring the sound level inside the car down all i want to hear is the exhaust note and the supercharger whine and the radio other than that i want to cut as much sound out as i possibly can and last but not least we will definitely be upgrading the brakes and we will definitely be putting on a new exhaust the car is way too quiet with the current exhaust and the factory exhaust is all rusty and falling apart anyway. And as you guys saw when I picked up the car, it came with an aftermarket exhaust, so there's no way we're not putting that on the car. And then the brakes. I'm a little worried about taking this car into track just because the brakes aren't quite up to the rest of the car, or at least that's what I have read. So we'll definitely be putting some stop tech hardware on here, some new rotors, new pads, maybe even some brake ducting to do everything we can to help this car out. Eventually, when these tires run out, we will be putting on some Federal ST1s like we have had on the BMW. I loved those tires. They were excellent. These are 400 treadwear all seasons. So going to a 300 treadwear summer tire is going to make a huge difference in how the car handles, stops, accelerates, everything. But these tires just have too much tread on them for me to just throw them away. So I'm going to let these run out for a little while. And then when these are towards the end of their life, then we'll upgrade to the Federals. But that's all we have planned for right now. That's just the initial first wave of modifications. So once I am out of PA school and I've got a little bit more time and a little bit more money to work with, of course, the first focus is going to be the Z and an M5 and an X5M for my wife. But the Mini will get its time in the light to get a second wave of modifications. And we'll talk about that a little bit later down on the road. But get excited for these. This car is definitely going to hit the autocross a lot. We're going to use these modifications to their fullest, have a nice stock level car. I haven't been able to take a car this stock to the track before so it'll be nice to have a little bit of a lower stress track day of course if you guys have any questions or you have any other modifications that you think this car really needs drop those below hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next week